briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The decision was based on the court's conclusion that the contract between the Homiers and Malas was too vague and indefinite to be enforceable, due to unspecified loan terms such as the interest rate. The court highlighted that in order for a contract to be upheld in court, key loan terms need to be clearly stipulated in the agreement. Without these, the agreement lacks the necessary clarity and specificity, rendering it unenforceable. Taking their grievances to the appellate court, the Homiers challenged the ruling. However, the court did not find any error in the Superior Court's judgment. According to the Court of Appeals, the case law cited by the Homiers was not applicable to their situation. In the end, the court upheld the original decision in favor of Malus, emphasizing that an interest rate is an essential term in a loan agreement, and any oversight of this term deems a contract null and void. Furthermore, the court reaffirmed that the awarding of attorney fees to the real estate agent and the return of earnest money to Malas were justified. The Homiers, in the aftermath, withdrew their appeal for the reversal of the attorney fees award to the defendant, marking the end of this legal dispute. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.